of the Daily Rants. My name is Eric Yoji. The Ministry of Finance has given letters of commencement to three development authorities for them to begin the implementation of the $1 million per constituency program promised by Nanado Danko Akufuado in the run-up to the 2016 general elections. This amount is for the 2020 fiscal year. Today on Daily Rand, we want to look at how we can all ensure that this money is used for its intended purpose. This is the Daily Rand. Let's keep talking. Your infrastructure and poverty gap amounted to $30 million. And for us to have our development corridors, authorities, giving the go-ahead to implement that $1 million per one constituency policy, However, I think we have seen development authorities and the way money was used. We have seen SADA before and we saw how certain things were done. And I want to believe that if we are able to guide this and look at the judicial use of the money, because in most cases you will realize that money is devoted to and the usage the poverty alleviation angle is rather that it develops the human resources that are directly in that matter. Say, Esha, also a 2020 fiscal year. To tell 2019, nothing is there. BBRM Bay. Now, promise, no, so sometimes I'm a promise, or they go by the promise. There was nowhere yesterday, or yeah, His Excellency, Nana Akufa, Dona, Ne Rani made Baumia. What are they in the four year? No, Obama one million per constituency. It was clearly that every year, my Bamiya yeah, from 2017, they will be giving every constituency one million. Here, what are they? Them one million here was the all bay. Or your four per each constituency. That is four million per each constituency. Fair enough. Or the money. Or they what you board? No, what are they gonna for? You catch on the Obama on one million per constituency. But here, bear now your share no. You in two. Yama all the four years, but Yama one and now two. You are in the search manners, you know, it, the best place over to walk or Mescano Yehunde, no Hoba Bamfasa, Uncle for Febini, ye assemblies, you know, many information there, what local constituency executives members of the party to manage that money, and yeah, and the man, it will bring a serious disaster. Go be an him there, my boy party, my power. And this is a million dollars. This is not going to be like sad and confirm what you call Bokina and one baby. You know. Yes, we are former authorities in Northern Development, Middle Belt, and the Coastal Development Authorities. <laughs> and prior to the, the uh, authorities in Oba approved my way in Ukrapo, the government put in place a 10 member regional team to walk around where you need assessment in all the constituencies, even before our authorities. You know, However, that one million per constituency, thirty percent component of that you know, goes into government priority areas, and that you know is ongoing. You have institutional toilets ongoing all the constituencies in countrywide. Solar pa uh, panel, water system, ongoing. Secondly, we have three. If here we have three. So, in absence of the development authorities in the Minister of Special Development Authority, you know, on or steer that day, then we also have one uh, ambulance per constituency. Ah, I mean, uh, procurement process is on the way uh, very soon, you know, obey it all the constituencies. Now, the constituency specifics is about to take off, and that is going to be driven by the, the development authorities. The money, who is taking care of that 70% that he's talking in the constituencies? Is it at the assemblies? The no, no, money no, no, no. should be given to people, people here. DC, Kojakwa, who know what what we need. They don't sit in Accra. But and say why it needs assessment? My way of the money, yeah, na. Munya, why it needs assessment? Who stop them there? Whatever about assembly? No, no, assembly na open project. No, who he will always be there to check but it's not crying if I'm going to just can put on your project now the DC here will also feel that he's not part but if you let the DC take charge okay you may have your whatever whatever team or special whatever but the DC should also be part because he is in charge of this constituency yeah your communication problem Kakra, because at the time of the promise now I'm comfortable you there at least at the beginning of the year generally ending December one million one million dollars will come but later the explanation we got was that it is not money that will be delivered but it will be project equivalent 
that one to still needs communication. What is also coming now, we have to be very careful. And that is why I understand why President Kufo built toilet and made them write on it that this is coming from HIPIC project. We will have certain independent interventions that have been done in some districts and it will be seen as this project. Because if there is no clear communication that profile now or buy no, the 30% is this, this category of things will go to the constituent. Yen Shen Yeya, Boho La Onko Ben, then project here, also is part of it. But Yen Shen Yeya underperforming functions can get to a fact that Entman Yenu. Now, of course, traditional things that a district assembly might have provided. Or certain independent group might have even done to a group. Now we are going to there. This is coming from the district. So we ought to watch. We ought to watch some of this things. VSHS is a different promise by itself. It is a VSHS, you know. My former we do a school. That's a LD YCC a Dano Oha. It comes with that 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 promise that you are giving us VSHS. So you solve that one. One million per constituency is also a different thing. One desert, one factory is a different thing. That is one thing we should be very careful of. The money, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. So you should say, I'm coming to give one million. You use that one million to do one desert, one factory. You use that one million to do free years. That one is understandable. But you gave this promise in its isolations. You understand? It's your best friend. They're more of what you mean, bring me in your other Free SHS project in Hawaii. No scam. Yes, it's ongoing. Maybe kind of mark the development authorities, you know, and I will but administer that funding. And doing the needs assessment, in, are you clear? The assemblies were not left out, stakeholders were not left out. Ah, yeah, the assemblies and so when a uh, plans are medium term and yeah, yeah, they come now that. Uh, Ministry of Finance will roll out the miscan. From now going, the, the, the project are over then over across exactly. Eric, we are in July 2019 and everything shows there. So the miscay one million year were promising in 2016 campaign and start 2017. All about all about in 2020, another election year. It means today the government wants to use that to get a, a, a vote. So, <laughs> mba, mba, we are giving, now, but that, all these years, no, no, no. I mean, it doesn't take more than we, we are 12 bringing months development to, to do people, all whatever what paperwork that we you are need bringing to do. Development. 2018, we didn't see anything. 2019 is ending. We are entering election year, so you want to use it as, oh, uh, your campaign, whatever, whatever, message. That is that, no problem. But you gave us a promise that the four-year term that you are coming to serve, each year you are going to give us one million. What and is that one million? Rain. I was reading through the criteria for allocation of a public constituency sponsorship program in Kenya. And what they do is that they first publish every constituency and each needs. And they show the timelines as to when it is coming. So that when it is finally there, because they did this assessment and probably an F what they are going to do, when they bring it, the people are aware that it is coming from this. Now, some people will not do it, but will probably will have to wait and lamb it with other, other projects. If you are not able to do, then you go and put other interventions from other areas. So what I, I also think that we could do is serious, effective supervision of a body on the development corridors because i i was not happy with the, the kind of appointments i had over three development pro corridors with dep two deputy ceos and all that we don't need all that in most cases when we have a lot of appointments that bedevil this this corridor monies that are meant for them sometimes are used in servicing the portfolios of the positions there's a second thing yeah there's going to be a slight conflict between what the development corridor does at the district level and what the district assembly should also do. And that is why in most cases, there are certain roles that are offloaded. If you read the public governance system, you come to realize that there are certain traditional roles that you have to allow the district assembly so that nobody comes to disturb a coordinating director and the district chief executive when they have identified and worked towards something. The coastal development, for instance, comprises the Western Central Greater Accra and Volta, four regions, right? We have one CEO and three deputies, one in charge of the Western Central Greater Accra and Volta, right? So I think there's nothing wrong with it. looking at the structure.
people. How do we ensure that it works? The working, we, we have other, uh, what do you, supervisory body, right? That will may ensure that projects being rolled out, like the, 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 the one being rolled now. It was advertised in somewhere September, August, September 2017, in the daily news, the, the toilet project, the water system, and the, it was advertised in the dailies, right? So procurement processes are followed, and it gives the people value for money. This government is known of bringing a lot of people when he has one policy, a lot of staff. They will have land cruises, they will have pickups. These cars will be, will, be, will be serviced every month. They are salaries, they are gardeners, and all those things. You can check it, because at the end of the day, no, these things can take almost 30% of the money. The IPEP is finally here, and as has been alluded by the renters, it is a good initiative. Only that there are a lot of examples that suggest that if care is not taken, this good initiative may end up enriching others that are not really meant for. This is the Daily Rant. My name is Eric Yewijay. Thank you for watching.